Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He is good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to fill your heart and fill your mind with the knowledge of His will, with the knowledge of who He is. He wants to fill you with His love God is love and he's called us to be like himself <laughs> how hard it is to love others without this love first being poured into our hearts without the sound mind of Christ without the mind of God it, it is hard to love others like God loves you hmm? we don't even know the true agape love the unconditional love of God you know people can have children and the children grow up and suddenly that agape love is gone <laughs> you know that that original love where this precious holy child of yours I put it like that that sweet precious little thing that could do no wrong <laughs> suddenly shows signs of being a human being just like everybody else who was born into sin and we can hold a grudge that person that we fell in love with and we wanted to marry and be with all the rest of our lives now we can have an attitude with them and forget that we were all born into this human flesh and blood body born into a soul without uh, without a shepherd but when we came to Jesus Christ, everything changed. The old ways passed away, and behold, everything became new. But that's only true for those who took off the grave clothes, who went full on. You know, they wanted to know the Lord. They picked up their, the, this word, and they applied it to their soul. They allowed the Holy Spirit to take this word and work it into their hearts, and write it on their minds and keep them in the truth the spirit of truth has been given to us by the father god is spirit by the way and those who worship him worship in spirit and in truth those who come to him and lay down their lives in them, him those who want to rest in him and roll all their confidence over on god all the issues of life we are bare before him and we say yes to your will in every area of our lives those people who've done that they'll they'll see the change in their life they'll see the the beauty of God's holiness they'll desire the God, the beauty of God's holiness they won't try to fight this flesh and blood body issues of life by themselves we don't try to work it all out in our own mind and get all so stressful. Stressful. We don't hold it into our hearts and, and get all filled with you stupid fool. You know, we, we don't. We let it all go to the one who knows how to work every situation and circumstance out for our good, even when he has to shut doors in our lives and open new ones, even when. He has to take people out of our lives. You, you know, it's okay. Sometimes when he takes a person out of your life, it might be just for a season for that person's sake. It could be for your own sake because your soul was getting so weary. The soul gets weary when it operates in its own strength to make things right. The Lord has made us right, by the way. But our righteousness lies in the one who knows how to show us the way to live. We have a place in God, and we stay there. We, we love this place where he has put us in him. And it's okay, I'm thinking about Moses. When he wanted the Lord to show him his glory, he wanted the Lord to be with them wherever they went and so he cries out to the Lord and, and where is that 
Exodus, maybe? <laughs> and I believe it's in Exodus 33 and 34, where he wants to see the Lord's glory. And the Lord says that he'd show him his goodness, and he put him in the cleft of the rock. He put him on a rock. You know, that rock represents Jesus, right? And the Lord passed before him and showed him his goodness. He showed him, he proclaimed his name to him. See, we have a relationship with a living God. And if things are going to change around us and in us, if we're going to be caught up in the air with Christ, then our heart and mind, our mind, <laughs> will and emotions, this soul of ours needs to get right. It needs to learn how to lay down in who God is. This is a resting place. This, this is uh, um, Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 15 says, For the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, has said, By repentance and rest, you would be saved. Your strength would lie in quiet confidence. I, I end there. I'm not reading the whole entire verse. I, I took this piece out because uh, apply this to what we want, what we need. See, we're going to be with this Lord, this Father, this Creator forever and ever and ever. And He has given us salvation in this life. See, every day and every night, every second, every moment, we're working out our soul's salvation in, in the awe of God. In the awe of God. We've, we've learned how to take all of our cares and, and, and put them in His hand. He's the mighty counselor. He's the wonderful one. And all of our hope is in Him. Our family, our friends, our body, our mind, will, and emotion, every care. There's going to be trouble in this world, but we don't let the trouble have our heart. We don't let the trouble have our mind, will, and emotions. We take this soul and we put it before the Holy One. Here in the contemporary English version, it says in Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 15, the Holy Lord God of Israel had, had told all of you, I will keep you safe in if you re, if you come to me if you turn back to me and calm down I will make you strong if you quietly trust in me let, let me read that one again because it's really important that we take all of our mind will and emotions everything that is us and let it rest in what he who who God is and what he said what his, whatever his promises are y you can hold on to these promises and you can say what your father is saying what the creator of heaven and earth is saying about you you belong to him we belong to Christ we're in Christ in God we are hidden in Christ in God and all we have to do is stay in this love stay in his love forget about whatever love we think we had because I want to manifest in my life the agape love the unconditional love but first I have to accept that love for myself for me so I can lavish it on everybody else around me and in I see I go so far like in lavishing others with your love sometimes means letting them go hmm? it, that way you can pray for them let them go ahead and do whatever they're doing don't get in the way but let the angels come into place and, and guard them and, and, and help them and let the Spirit of God speak to their hearts the Lord will use you in the way that he needs to use you for whomever is in your life but you, you have to hear from your father. Jesus only did what his father showed him to do. What his father said to him, he said. And we can hear our shepherd's voice. A stranger's voice we won't follow. You know what happens when we follow the stranger's voice? We get stressed out. We get anxiety. Anxiety is not trusting the Lord. Stress is not trusting God. We get, all of that is fear, by the way. 
And none of us can claim ignorance. Ignorance is a spirit. And ignorance is in the world and ignorance is in us if we're stressed out and, and now we have diabetes, now we have uh, high blood pressure, now we have all of these abnormalities going inside of our on inside of our physical body because we have not trusted the one who, who's given us life, the one who is our life. We've not taken this mind and put it in the word. We need to be transformed by renewing of our mind. And what does it say again? Now, in, in the contemporary English version, it said, The Holy Lord God of Israel had told all of you, I will keep you safe if you turn back to me and calm down. I will make you strong if you quietly trust me. What did the other one say? Come back and quietly trust in, in me. Then you will be strong and secure. The international standard says, For this is what the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel says, In repentance and rest you will be saved. In staying calm and trusting will you will be your strength. Well, the word rest replies roll on, roll on, give all your cares to the Lord. Don't give them to idols, don't give them to TV, don't give them to your cell phone when you feel stressed out and you just need to meditate meditate on something that pops up in, inside these cell phones or inside on the TV. You need a movie, you know, what do they call that? Benging on movies. Get, turn on the worship find some preacher that the, the, I mean the spirit of God knows how to direct your steps I, I like the, the preachers that pop up on my screen from old long time ago and I'll sit there and I'll say ah, you know what I really don't want to hear this right now and then I turn it on and they say something that hits right there in that tender spot and I feel the strength of the Almighty rising up on the inside of me Glory to God. And that's what we need. Find our strength in the Lord. And I know I, I have to pack it up already. They're going to ring my doorbell. <laughs> and I'll have to start work. But I just, I really want us to be filled with the knowledge of God's will, strengthened in the inner man. I want us to meet Jesus in the air, but we need to take off the grave clothes because we're still living according to how we feel, whatever the flesh says about this situation and that whatever i've gone through in the past whatever hurt whatever shame is in my life this is all going on inside of you and you can hear this voice this this flesh voice more than you're hearing the spirit of god when the spirit of god is taken up out of this world we are going to at least i want to and that's why i want to get so used to hearing his voice I want to keep myself in love with the one who loves me. And by the way, stress is a lack of faith. Anxiety is sin. Fear is sin. The fearful and unbelieving will not enter into the kingdom of God. They will not be caught up in the air. We, we've got to let this go. This, this is the words you don't want to hear away from me. I never knew you. Knowing God isn't just reading the word, but it's meditating on this word day and night. It's leaning on what he said, letting the word of God come to your remembrance and, and, and saying, yes, Lord. It's always being in agreement with what he said. And it's not like nothing in this life hurts. It does. And that's why that's that hurt. See, we could work it out in our own strength. And then we become weak in the flesh, tempted in the flesh. Then we become, you know, holding all of this mess in. I want to be transformed. I, I want to be like Christ. I want to be accepted in my beloved. And we are. But cast your care on the Lord and let him 
transform your heart and mind by the Spirit of God who teaches us all things, who cleanses us. The one who's cleansed us from our unrighteousness cleanses us, gives us his nature so that we don't repeat the same actions over and over again, the bad ones. We go about doing good like Jesus. Now I want to read this last scripture which is in Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came against me to eat up my flesh. That's talking about your soul, by the way. When my enemies came against me to eat up my soul, they stumbled and fell. Why did they stumble and fall? Though a host should encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war should rise against me in this, in what is he confident? He's confident that the Lord is his light. He's the revelation. He's his salvation. The Lord is the strength of his life. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple, to behold his beauty. This should be the awe of you. This should be the awe of us, our creator, the creator God. I'm telling you, there's no one like him, and no presence that we desire to be in but his. There's nothing in this earth that is more beautiful. And there's no baby, no, no person, no dog, no cat, no situation that you have ever been in that is more beautiful than this. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Desire to be in the beauty of his holiness. Desire to be there. And he's the one who puts you there when you desire him. He'll get you up out of any dark shadow. Remember Psalm 91. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. There's no shadow that will overtake you besides the shadow of the Holy Spirit. The shadow of God will rest on you. That's a beautiful thing. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face international. Behold the beauty of God's holiness. Get in, get in this place where he will keep you safe. He'll keep your soul in the right place. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't trust this world. Trust, trust God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Bye-bye.